What is going on you guys? Brandon here, AKA Bro Wallace, and today I am here with... Jackie. And you guys probably are looking at the date of this video. Like, you guys probably think this is an old video. You probably think it's clickbait. Like, yeah, <laughs> you, pro you probably think, oh, she's in the thumbnail, but she's not actually in the video because I am Bro Wallace, the king of clickbait. But king. no, it is really Brandon and Jackie Hi over guys. here. You guys probably never thought you would see us two on camera together. Trust me when we say we didn't either. But there's a kind of, I guess you could say, a, a a new development in our like in our friendship <laughs> you are so R weird friendship I I mean, like, Jackie hates me, so I don't know yeah. if I can call it a friendship. Yeah. And then I hate Jackie, so it's definitely so. not a relationship. So there's a new development in, in Brandon and Jackie. So um, last you guys saw us was, a what, six months ago? In, back in September yeah. when we officially split up. There was no more Brandon and Jackie. Jackie has not been in one of my videos for six months. We have not filmed with each other since that breakup video. We haven't even seen each other in the last six months. Or talked. Yeah, we haven't talked. We haven't texted. We, we haven't. There has been no communication um, ever since that split up video between Brandon and Jackie. Well, um, about a week ago, it was my dog Booker's birthday. He turned three years old. Happy birthday, Booker. When he turned one, um, me and Jackie were there for him when he mm -hmm. turned two me and Jackie were there for him Now him turning three years old. He was left just to celebrate it with me alone um, Without Ooh. without Jackie. I felt bad for him. I tried to give him a good birthday If you guys remember the vlog, I took him to Petco I let him pick out toys drove him around in my car gave him a car ride um, gave him peanut butter I tried to make it a good birthday, but it just wasn't me. I knew what would really 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 make Booker have a good birthday and I think everybody else knew it as well would would be to see Jackie um, Booker loved loved we mean loved with a D he loves he loves but Booker and Jackie like like I, I was my my baby I would take him anywhere and everywhere yeah. with me so deep down in my heart I knew what really would make Booker's birthday would be if he saw Jackie there was just one problem like we said we hadn't spoken seen each other or anything <laughs> uh, for six months so I decide to put you know our differences aside put my pride aside put you know my ego aside I, I, I put on my um, dog dad cap I wanted to be a good dog dad so I went on my phone I texted Jackie for the first time in, like I said, months and months and months. Um, I texted her, um, it wasn't nothing long, it wasn't nothing crazy, it, it wasn't <laughs> like, hey, it's been so long, we haven't talked, uh, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, come pick up Booker. Between me, you, and the Brawad squad, how fast did you get in your car when you saw the text, come see Booker? I, I did speed the pedal, because I'm like, before Brandon changes his mind, because I know his pride gets in the way of everything, no. I'm like. You didn't even text me for Booker's birthday. I put my pride aside, I texted because you. Because I was waiting for you to text me. We hadn't talked in six months, how'd you know I was gonna text you? I just had a feeling. Case this in point is, um, um, it was crazy like I went to text on my phone and I typed in J-A-C-K-I-E like I was sending a text to Jackie it was something that I never thought was <laughs> I, I, I like it was just something that I never thought I would I would do ever again and I'm sure like when she saw the text pop up on her phone I was um, like, uh... what is my name in your phone now bitch yeah. Or what is it like when she saw Stop. my name pop up on her phone? She, I'm sure she was shocked. I threw like up. she was probably like, "What the hell?" So, anyways, um, when Jackie came to pick up Booker, she posted a, a TikTok with him, and a lot of you guys started spamming me. Bro, how does Jackie have Booker? Like, I thought you guys don't talk. Did she steal him? People were going crazy. So, um, they were asking, you know, how did that happen? Like. Did your mom draw Booker off to Jackie? Because I know Brandon and Jackie don't speak. So how did Jackie get Booker? Um, well, uh, after I texted her, come see Booker. You know, it's his birthday. He looks sad. I want him to have a good birthday. Like I said, my good dog dad cap was on. She, she <laughs> drove over to my house uh, late at night, like 9 o'clock. So she came. Um, she, she pulled up. Like I said, we hadn't seen each other in 
like half a year so not gonna lie there was some tension there was some tension i'm trying to remember i think you, i don't think you said anything i was gonna to say me. okay bro there's obviously a level of, of no, hurt like, yo, there still I, like yeah that's fine but it goes both ways so jackie i think said hi i don't remember the moment clearly of because of course i'm coming to your house the least you could do is yo hi I, like, like well, you literally didn't say anything okay because to be completely honest with you guys and with you mm. i never ever ever thought the day would come where jackie would be pulling up to my house again so that when jackie was on her way to pick up booker in my head i was like okay i'm gonna say hi okay but then when she like pulled up and then like i Literally. saw her and saw her car and i i don't know i just, i i just I, I don't think i said anything are you sure i didn't say hi no you dead ass didn't say anything okay well like he literally didn't say anything okay so i i i, I, I didn't do it purposely it was just like there's still a level like you said both ways there's still like a level of hurt there so when i saw her for the first time it just i was like <clears throat> i'm like hey jackie came and uh <clears throat> I gave her Booker. I remember Booker went crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, like his tail was like wagging so hard. I thought it was gonna fly off. Like He's I thought. Crying. Yeah, he was crying. Uh, okay, I might sound weird, but I'm just gonna imitate his voice. He was like. <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. And like Literally. his tail was like. Would not stop. Yeah, like I, I thought I was gonna have a dog without a tail for the rest of my life because I thought it was just gonna like zoom off his body. So. Uh, I'm the light of his life. Yeah. So so that made me happy, especially on his birthday. I was like, okay. When I first texted her, I was like. You know, if anybody has texted their ex, there's a level of regret. Like, do I regret this? Like, like, should I have texted her? Should I not have texted her? But then all it took was seeing Booker go crazy for those like 30 seconds. And the dog dad in me was like, okay, I'm glad I texted her. It's worth it. Regardless of how me and Jackie are, just seeing how happy Booker was, it was worth it. So, um... Jackie took him for a couple hours. What did you guys do in, in those couple hours on his birthday? I took him on a ride. I went to go buy him some toys. Actually, okay, you want to know something? Mm. That toy that you bought him, he sleeps with it all the time. Like, he's, mm, he's, nice. he literally sleeps on it. I'll put a clip up on the screen. Booker sleeps with the toy that Jackie bought him. It's like he smells yeah, her on the toy. Then I took him to Chick-fil-A because we used to do that all the time. You didn't give back. him chicken, right? He's allergic to chicken. No, just rice. You gave him fries? He likes them. We used to do this all the time behind Brandon's back, but you know, had to do it just one time. I gave him like two, that's it. Two fries? The Chick-fil-A fries aren't the straight skinny ones, they're the big waffle ones. Yeah, he likes them. Oh my God. Um, um, when Booker came back from hanging out with Jackie, like it was the happiest that I have seen Booker in months. She was like, <laughs> um, I think we're both mature enough. I'm 25 years old, you're 24. Mm -hmm. I think we're both mature enough to where even though we have our differences and stuff happened between us from both sides, it shouldn't get in the way of a dog because it's not fair to the dog, Booker. Um, we raised him together. So over the last couple months where only I had him because me and Jackie were not getting along, so we didn't want to see each other. So I only had Booker and he was just not happy he's, he's just been sad don't get me wrong he loves me and i take great care of him um but, but it's just attachment at the end of the day he misses his mama once he got back from hanging out with her uh that night and i just saw his face it was the happiest i've seen him in so long i i what is it called co-parenting yeah we're gonna co-parent we're gonna put our differences to the side it shouldn't get in between a dog's life because dogs actually have feelings dogs have emotions it's possible for a dog to get depressed and that's the last thing i want for booker mm -hmm. our dog yeah. we're gonna put all of our differences to the side it's only right that Booker gets to see his dad and his mom um, that we raised together. So the reason we wanted to make this video is because me and Jackie are on talking terms now. That might not be a friendship, relationship. I, I don't know. We still hate each other. <laughs> we but, still but, hate each other. But hey, this is a big step for both of us. That's how you know we're mature and old. In your guys' head, me and Jackie hate each other oh, and, and I always say you guys are like my second family so if me and Jackie are on talking terms um, even if it's just for a dog then I, I, I figured you guys should know um, I, I, I hit Jackie up I was like we should make a video telling the fans that we are on talking terms and we don't absolutely hate each other you know what i mean like i said we might not be the best of friends we might not see eye to eye on a lot of things um but we're mature enough to put our differences to the side and um at least be civil with each other for the dog and um 
We don't want to hide anything from you guys, the fans. So if we're back on talking terms, it's only right that we tell you guys because we don't like hiding anything from you guys. Like I said, I might lose some subscribers from this video. I might get a lot of hate, but it doesn't matter. I've always been true to my word that I don't hide anything from my supporters. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm just telling you guys the truth. Um, Brandon. This feels so crazy being on your channel. I'm not gonna Dude, lie. Dude, it feels like, crazy having you on my channel. I swear. I, <laughs> I don't know. It I, feels weird talking to you. No, no, no. Life is crazy. <laughs> life is crazy. But um, yeah, Brandon, aka Brawadis, I'm out. Bye, guys. Peace. Oh, that's awkward. I don't know how to say bye to your channel anymore. Peace. Peace. Yeah. I can never ever find the right words. And there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you're the right girl, so I can only say that it feels right. It feels